Now we're not going to talk about me for as far as magic stuff goes. Instead, we're going to jump into old school magic, which is a section I do every stream where I talk about basically old school magic. Get excited! Okay, that was the wrong one. I had a mislabeled. Who gives a shit? Uh, so anyways, old school magic basically is where I um, talk about like uh, magicians that have come before, like in the past, that have been uh, influential, maybe uh, if not directly to me, at least like influential to the industry and stuff like that uh, uh, altogether. And most of them are dead guys. That's just how it's been going. Most of them are dead guys. But um, sometimes we have ones that aren't dead, but, uh, unfortunately now we're back to, uh, very, uh, uh classic, well-known, uh, magician, illusionist, whatever you want to call it, who's, uh, also, like, second generation, uh, magician from back in the day, that's, uh, Harry Blackstone Jr., right over there, right up there, Harry Blackstone Jr., his dad, Harry Blackstone Sr., uh, he was the dude with, like, the more, like, kind of poofy white hair, um, kind of like, uh, he kind of looked like Dracula from the movie Dracula. You know, when uh, Gary Oldman is in, like, the old Dracula, you know, outfit. And the hair kind of is, like, kind of poofed up. Uh, so that was that was Blackstone Sr. And he had, like, the pencil mustache. And uh, it was a bit bushy and curlier. Uh, Junior is the, the guy with the glasses and more of the... Uh, the uh, well manicured goatee, right? And um, and so he, unfortunately, he passed away. Uh, like in, I think it was like ninety six, ninety seven, something like that. Uh, I remember. But uh, yeah, uh, really, really well known guy. He did Broadway, he did tours all over the world and stuff. Uh, definitely, definitely a, a total legend. Uh, as as far as you know, magic and like stage magicians and touring stuff goes, but he was still you know even though he uh, played and was was popular you know seventies and eighties and all that and uh, and really well known back then, he still like presented magic with like a more more classic style, much like what his dad uh, did before, and um, and so with that, there's uh, there's tons of different uh, you know bits, I guess, that you could say, uh, and things that, that Harry Blackstone Jr. was, was known for, one, uh, being, like, in the picture here, uh, this, uh, dancing handkerchief, which I, I think he called the, the bit, like, the Palace of Casadega, or something like that, it was some, it was some cool, you know, some cool, uh, uh, you know, name for it, and, uh, and, and so he, that, yeah, he had that, he had the floating light bulb, um, Lots of lots of um, different things that he's 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 known for, and uh, and and so basically uh, the one thing that I'm going to show right now, if I can get it to work, you totally see what I mean by his uh, <laughs> by his presentation style. Definitely not widescreen. This is evening, squared and off. Boys and girls, and welcome. Well, here's a little something I know some of you have seen before, but if not, I invite you to watch and watch very carefully. You can tell like, his voice, like, he was really, like, well-known, and people still, like, to this day talk about his voice and, like, how he was able to project uh, with, with just, like, this booming, like, commanding voice. Thank you. I like that tie thing. Is that a, is that a tie? Is that a... Or is that an ascot? Is that a fancy ascot? Did you happen to hear what the gentleman over here just... Because it's like, it's just tied. It looks like upside down bunny ears is what it looks like. I gotta, got, I gotta get myself one of those. I'd like to know what those are called. All the way. That's fine. All the way. The other one? No, don't wipe your hands on the coat just for you. Underneath my coat, madam, would you feel around and tell me what you can find? Yikes. Do Can't do that joke anymore. Nothing. <laughs> realize you were a critic then you what for those of you that weren't watching quite carefully enough or for the one or two that may not have so this was weird when he would do this though i, I wasn't really um oh i never really like uh understood why he did it this way i can i can see like the uh it is an ascot okay eric thanks it is an ascot hello maureen hello amy berg hello ralph this time this time I'd like to invite someone else to hold on to this cage in Canary because... So this is the best part, though. So I never understood why, he, like, Lance Burton uh, used to do this, and he, he might still do it when he goes out and does shows. Um, but, uh... 
but he would just come out with the with the little birdcage and get the kids up on stage. Just a little bit so the folks can see at home. And we'll have each of you help me out in a special way. What is but I, I, I can get why Harry did it this way. It would make sense. Your name is Paul. I'm Dar Bebens. Oh, why didn't you say so? Mel Pink. That's all right. We're just watching Harry Blackstone Jr. for this week's Old School Magic. Now this, I always thought this was super ballsy. That's a... a that's an Abbott's, by the way. Top shelf, good quality there. Abbott's. Um, the other young lady, you put your hand. Yeah, can't. Yeah, we can't make jokes like that anymore. Why would you make them in the first place? I don't understand that. Why would you make jokes like that in the first place? You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to sh on Harry Blackstone Jr. here, but you know, he, I never met him, but I I know his his, his wife, his widow. Um, Gay Blackstone, she's awesome. She's the one that's responsible uh, to help uh, put Masters of Illusion on tour on TV and in uh, you know theaters, casinos, and stuff like that around the world. So uh, she's very much still uh, involved in in magic, even though Harry passed away. So uh, gotta give a big shout out to, to Gay Blackstone. You can watch Masters of Illusion every Friday on the CW. This summer, I think. Well, summer's over now. Oh shit! It might not be on anymore. I don't know. That's the way it goes. And that's the way it goes. You get a bunch of kids out of the audience. They all have to put their hand on the cage, and then, uh, you know, boom, cage is gone. And somehow, thank God, all the kids still have their fingers. What? So yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was Harry Blackstone Jr. for some of the old school magic segment. That we got going on uh, for this week. Uh, I've been meaning to actually put Harry Blackstone Jr. on earlier, but uh, you know some other things you know distracted because he was you know dude was still definitely like classy as you can see classy old school look and style. He had the ascot tie which was awesome. Still want to get me one of those. Probably have to log on to internationalmail.com and find one. I'm not even sure if that site's still around. Let's not find out. Let's not find out. 